Um, they were misrepresented um, in the 70s by, by an archaeologist, and then it was corrected in the record. He said they were cheap American reproductions, but then they found them at Fort Union and some other places um, um, in, in uh, one of the uh, effigy designs. But they're, they're quite charming. I've narrowed them down to um, Western I Italy. Um, and this is the most common uh, um, design of them, most prevalent, and, it, and it, the size it really varies. This is a version of um, an acute. Um, you can see you know, there's popular sort of acute rib um, designs um, that you'll see go across different pipe manufacturers. These guys, I don't know how much interest there is, they, there's uh, some TVs and some others. This one actually has a wrapper on it, so they're getting to be a little bit later, but I thought for compactness people might be interested in, in use of those. And, um, but the provenance is a little bit more questionable those. And I was um, asking 15 each, but they could also be two, like two for 25. Um, reeds, I have lots of reeds. We can fit our own, own reed. These reeds, though, are more thin-walled. They are from the Arkansas Bench Fort and cut. And when you pick them out, it's nice since they are thinner-walled reed, the common reed. Um, these weren't the original reeds that pipes were fitted when they came from east back. That was a, a species of, um, of uh, bamboo, actually. But when they got out here and those reeds broke, of course people used common reeds, which go back to the Anastasis beyond. There's two species of common reed. One's native and one was introduced about the turn of the 1800s. Um, it was introduced on the east coast, so it probably wasn't here. But it's still, um, once you strip it down, take off the leaves, the two are so similar, you can, can't really tell the part, uh, them apart between the two species. And there's a mixture down always between those two, and along the Arkansas there is a wonderful place, and I do first-person gathering leaves at Benz to get these. Next two leaves can go with the, but it's a whole thing, you know, of just getting a good. Not that one. That's the one I like. And Moki, oh. Moki, and, and <laughs> Moki, and neighbor, and then it's a free for all. These guys contacted me early, and and I just was giving them first steps. Uh, Kevin Hebert was very interested in these, and he snagged one up because it's a situation where you have a reed, and then there's a sleeve, and it, they're very hard to find the sleeves, but it's an over sleeve between this and the and the reed. And so those mm -hmm. are the um, but you have to do a little work to get it to work. And those little sleeves were made out of, they were metal. Yeah. Um, metal. And what kind of metal as Probably far as tin, tin we yeah. thought. Um, I also right. have, if people okay. are collecting, these are not smoke. These have all been cleaned and checked. Uh, and if they, if they, you find a crack in them, other than like letting a horse step on them, <laughs> I'll give you another pipe because they've been cleaned. Hairline cracks I've found only come up when I clean them. They'll they'll bubble and fizz and even widen. But you can have pipes that look so good on eBay or whatever, and you get it and it has a hairline crack and it is a pain in the ass because you just paid. You know, whatever you think you got a deal, but these are examples of that. And and I, I had these on a trade blanket, and you know, these are more for people that want to form maybe for their collection. Um, even you know, this charmer, you know, um, they're not. I wouldn't recommend. You could smoke them and use them, but I had these too. And, or oh sure, yeah, thanks, yeah. And yeah, and why don't we set those over where you can sit and fit okay. and, and have a little 
Or move over so that somebody else can come and look at the little okay. pipe. Have those been punctured? And, and I, ha you, you, I have sort of, um, you know, like I said, you can be mindful of where the, the take a couple reads and if not, um, Hopefully there'll be enough reeds that fit. <laughs> and I'm looking at these going, so there are pieces of shards that were picked up when he was a kid ah. at Mishla Mackinac. So I'd love to get anybody, your... Anybody wants... I have so many articles I can email to you. Yeah, um, yeah. I have the definitive... Yeah, I've got I have some and I've got one yeah. that's and pretty I... much all except for like that much of a uh -huh. rock. And I can put it together. It's like... Oh, okay. mm -hmm. There's some really good articles. I think, I think I have one of these at home. One of which? The, these guys. These guys? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're, they're an interesting... I was really, you know, Kevin Hebert is well into, you know, real, really uh, uh, authenticity. And, he, and he, boy, he was right into that. And he took one. He was going to make a sleeve for, for it. Yeah. Good trip. Thank <laughs> you.